Hi, this is a Python calculator I created using Tikinta. I'll, I'll just demonstrate how this system works for you right now as 89 multiplied by 3 and there. Uh, you can also clear 5 divided by 3 as the answer clear. As you can see the system is working as you expected and uh, what I'll do next is just to take you guys straight into the coding area where I will then develop one for you all or where we de develop one together so let's go into the coding area now and see how I manage to put this together okay we'll start by importing taking time and we import all of the components there then the next thing I will do now is just to define my uh, define my function I'm going to call that source, you can call it root or whatever you want to call it, and the size, call my size, and I will now store my object, store object, okay, this object I want to define will be my frame right there, then the source, yeah, that's the source, let's give it a border, I really don't need that, but I might as well put it anyway, border width, yeah, make that something maybe one that's fine and my border there make that four yeah that's fine and background color yeah I do need my background color because I want it to look a bit pretty so let's go for powder blue that's fine okay the next thing I'll do now let me just speed it up and get back to you once I finish developing this frame Okay, this is how my frame looks like. The next thing I'll do now is just to let me define another method right here for the button. So, might as well just create a little separation there. And there I need the source for my size. And uh, let me get something for the text right there. Let me put a comma right there. I need a command there. And this very command I'm going to say none in lowercase, sorry and that is it column so let me speed this up as well so the next thing will be store object we'll speed okay right here my store object we also store the button just like it's storing the frame here and as you can see it's packed the frame there it's also packed the Button so that you guys can see it on the screen. So the next thing I would do now is just let me create a class. I need a class. Class in this case would be for my frame. So I'm gonna call that. Uh, okay, let's call it class app. Then we call that frame there. The next thing is uh, let's define define in in it and self right there so I will also speed this up because I don't I don't want this to take too long okay now that I've finished defining my class let me just try out this but before then I will end uh, let me end the program for now and just uh, run it for you guys to see what I'm talking about okay this is how it looks right now so I finished that so I'm just gonna save and run so that you see how it looks like for now this is how this is how it looks one more time yeah. okay the next object I will create for this project is uh, let me create uh, the display that will be the display for the calculator so I just call that display and a string variable okay then now uh, enter let's make that self comma oh, sorry about that Come on. The next thing would be let me relieve the. So maybe I should use uh, maybe raise or rigid. Let me make it rigid. And come on. So I'll just speed that up. Get back to you guys as well. And there we have. We now have the display in place. If I save and run, this is how it looks for now. You see, that's the display there can add anything we want to add for now okay the display is made of text you can see it raised up is because I've used the following rigid and I can also change it to something else let's say if I say flat 
this is how flat look like so press F5 and that's how it looks when it's flat and supposing I decide to raise it let's say raise raised and run that is how that very raised look like it looks like it looks like a button so I don't think that's good enough I think uh, even if I decide to use something like uh, let's say Z yeah something let's see what we happen there so with the sunken let's see how that looks like that is how the sunken looks I it's either going to be that or or maybe I, I will use the rigid but there's one more I need to try out let me try out the groove now that's the groove with the groove let's see how the groove look like and that's the groove as well the groove also look like a button which I don't really want so I might as well just go back and just set to for rigid let's go for rigid there so the next thing now since uh, I've finally made up my mind with rigid I will now declare or oh, I'll now create a um maybe my clear button let me create my clear button get that out of the way sorry about that four okay guys the next thing i'm going to do now is to enter parentheses and enter my clear i have those ones in two parentheses one square bracket another square bracket speech mark square bracket bracket close so the fourth parenthesis we have CE which is for clearing as well then the second one will just be C so what I'll do now is enter a semicolon there then just speed this up so that uh, I don't take too much time alright guys this is how the program is looking right now the fourth C is there is just to clean the, the display interface and the C we actually do the same thing so what I'll do next is just run the program so that you guys see it you can see some improvement on it compared to the previous uh, window okay now we can see as we can see we see the display then we see C E and C those are two separate buttons if I type in into the display click on the C E you see what happened close the system and I type into the display button I can also play it so now we will now proceed with the numbers and I'll get back to you guys says okay the next thing is, is now to create the number number buttons so let's start by saying for number number buttons okay in open a bracket enter my parentheses so I'm gonna arrange it at seven eight nine then I'll put forward slash to represent my division then comma another that'll be four five six then enter multiplication that'll be the star would represent my multiplication sign then the next one would be one two three then minus close that comma and let me go for zero dot as my decimal function then plus yeah I think that would do so yeah that would do I think I have a seven eight nine four five okay that's correct close the bracket and just enter my parentheses so let me just speed this up I uh, just before I speed this up let's correct this to for loop okay now so let's speed it up okay I've now completed the number function so I have my number buttons right there so there they are and uh, that's the variable that I uh, declared for all the buttons it will be on top and this one is for the just for the characters and here lambda function I use the lambda function for my calculation right there so the next thing is uh, might as well just let me let me give this a try and see how it works so I'll run it and see so this is what I have so far seven eight nine let's let's minimize this so that you guys see the arrangement of the numbers look at the arrangement okay four five six one two three then I have my comma right there 
um, sorry my subtraction sign there so I can erase supposing I have a decimal number and so on plus whatever and see but watch if you if you guys notice I don't have my equals I don't have my equals button yet so I, I need to now create the function for that so far this is how the calculator is looking now it's looking pretty good though I'm proud of it I like it so let me go back and define my equals function so we start by defining as follows for the equals equals button equals I calc which is the name of my function up right up there so I'm now just going to state the rest of the function for sorry about that and there there we have the the function for the equals button right there so what I'll do next is let's just see if this is going to work so run and save there we can see the equals button there right there guys error because there's nothing there but if I say 9 multiplied by 6 that's it divide by whatever there plus and that's it guys that's how you create your own calculator button I believe this is even simpler than my previous uh, Python calculator I love this much better you can see the background everything right there so with this brief tutorial I'm just gonna call it the end of the day so but before I go let me show you guys the codes one more time and this is the final part of my codes and that's where I ask the system to loop and here let me change one thing here because I just like consistency with my codes so that's the chart right there so because I've been using that so I change that to for i equals yep okay the same thing here all right hopefully that should work now let's see if it's going to work as since i've changed one or two things there yeah still working as we expected times three equals that's correct clear clear equals that's good and let's see what will happen error that's fine that is correct so that's how you develop your own calculator but uh, like I said let me show you guys the codes let's go back there and show you the codes right from the top take it from the top guys I'm gonna scroll right down scroll right down again and that is how you create your own calculator in Python far better than my previous Python calculator so run it one more time and with that I'll say you all have a nice day now bye for now